We come now to verse 26 of the 8th chapter of the Gospel of John. Jesus has just confronted the question put to him in the previous verse, Who are you? And of course the response Jesus gives, as we were noting in that connection, is somewhat uh, perplexing. It's uh, difficult Greek to translate. It could be rendered something on the order of, I've already told you, I've told you from the beginning who I am, so why do I need to keep repeating it? Or uh, it could be a little bit more of a despairing response. What's the point of telling you anything? Even if I tell you, you won't hear it. One way or another, Jesus doesn't really address the question directly. But in this verse, he does make it clear that there's plenty he could say, uh, if not about himself, about them. And that's really the force of what we have here, pola. This is from uh, the word that means many or much. This is the uh, neuter plural. Accusative, uh, echo, first person singular, present active indicative, echo, I have, so I have many things. Peri, which in this case takes the genitive, and it's the second person genitive plural, so many things concerning you is the idea. Lalain, from laleo, I speak. This is the infinitive, present infinitive, so I have many things concerning you to speak. Kai, and then again, the uh, present uh, active infinitive to judge. I have many things I could say about you, many things I could judge about you. Uh, you ask concerning me, and I've already answered your question is effectively what Jesus is saying, but uh, if, if you're asking about yourself, there's plenty that I could uh, address. But then as if to limit what Jesus might actually say, we have this additional comment, all short of Allah, but ho pimsos, uh, the sending me uh, one. Uh, this is the aorist uh, participle. It's the masculine uh, singular uh, nominative uh, aorist participle. The having sent me one, aletheis. This is uh, the um, adjective, true. Uh, Esten, he is. So uh, third person singular, present active indicative from a me, I am. So I have many things I could say about you, but the one who sent me is true, as if to say Jesus must confine himself to that which he has been authorized to say. And thus he continues, kago, the contraction of kai, ago, and I. And then the things which, this is the relative pronoun, the plural accusative, uh, accusative, uh, the object of the uh, akusa, this is from akuo, I hear. This is the first person singular um, aorist active indicative. So the things which I have heard, uh, par, contraction of para, in this case taking the genitive, from him. So para means from typically, and so the things which I have heard from him, these things, tauta, the demonstrative pronoun, accusative plural, lalo, I speak from laleo. Uh, first person singular, present active indicative, these things I speak, ace tone cosmon into, takes the accusative, into the world. Uh, as if to say into the world and it's going to spread through the world. So Jesus says, uh, you know, actually I could say a lot of things about you, but I am confined, as it were, to the things which I've been authorized to say, and those things which I've been offer authorized to say, uh, from the one who sent me, I am speaking into the world, as if Jesus wants to make it clear his purpose is not simply to address some particulars about these people, although he certainly could, but to bring a message. Uh, bring, a message that, uh, bring a message that's to be spoken into the world, and the very fact that this term ace, this preposition ace into the world, uh, is used at this point. Uh, instead of just speaking to the world, it's going to move into the world, and uh, certainly that has been the story of the gospel, moving into and throughout the world, permeating the world. And that's really the principal purpose that Jesus has and the principal mission that he must carry out.